Okay, so right now we're gonna go ahead and calibrate the line follower. If you pull up the Texture Industries Raspbian for Robots um, desktop, you'll find this icon with the wrench and the screwdriver on it, the line follower calibration. So if we double click line follower calibration, we'll get a dialog screen that actually has a, sort of all the directions on here. Um, first thing we're gonna do is place the line sensor so that all the sensors are over the black line. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. You set the black line values. We'll do the same thing with the white, what white line values look like and we'll set those. And then when we run read line positions, we'll see in the background um, the actual line uh, follower sort of running. So, Okay, so here you can see we've got the line follower set up. We've got the standard black line that we've seen before in some of our videos. And we've got the line follower right here. When I talk about the sensors, there are these five, one, two, three, four, five black sensors on the bottom of the line follower. So the first thing we're going to do is set the black line follower calibration. Go ahead and I will work it so that all of these sensors are lined up on the black line. It's just important because sometimes your black line is not going to be as black as my black line. We want to get it calibrated for the environment that you're actually working in. So now that I have this set up, I'm going to go back to the software and I will run uh, the black line calibration. Okay, so I've got my uh, GoPi Go set up so that the sensors are only seeing the black line. And with the hardware set up, now I'm going to run the software calibration. I just go ahead and click on set black values. There we go. And we should see a little bit of motion in the back. So you see, you saw in the background something go on, and here you see black line is 994, 984, 994, 991, 982. These are all very close to each other. They're all within, uh, you know, about uh, 10 to 20 points or 10 to 20 numbers. So you'll want to see something relatively close. Yours will not look the same. This is going to, these numbers will depend on the environment that you're in and they'll depend on uh, how close your sensor ends up sitting to the line um, or sitting to the background. But the whole idea is that we calibrate it for the specific environment that we're in. And now that we've run the black line calibration, I'm going to go ahead and just move this a little bit further off. You can still see the these five uh, uh, line sensors. I'm going to put them on the white. In this case, white line, I mean the white background, um, with pretty even lighting. So if you look at this, you'll want to make sure that you have adjusted um, the height so that it's pretty equal across uh, both sides so that no single line follow like like line follower sensor is too close to the paper or too close to your white or your black background um, once you do that we put it on uh, the white background and we'll go back and run set white line values okay now finally i'm going to set the white line values go ahead and click on set white line values here and great I have a little bit more variation here. You can see it's all over, uh, and, and white light will kind of do this, but they're all pretty close. They're all within about 200 points of each other, um, and this is fine. Um, now with um, so now with everything sort of uh, with everything calibrated out, we've got our black line. We'll go ahead and just run the read line position. You should be able to see as you run it back and forth. Should see, you'll be able to see those lines, the line values change. Again, we're keeping it like I'm dragging it right across the paper, and I'm trying to make sure that this front remains even across the surfaces as we go back and forth. Finally, we quickly read line position, and it will every time we hit it, it's going to go ahead and read um, the, uh, the the four or the value of the five sensors there, and as I read that over and over I'm slowly moving it across with the um, you can see that the peak here the peak number is moving um, left to right so up here it's nine nine the 900 is all the way over on one side this is one, the value this column is the value of one sensor this is the value of another sensor and this is the value of another sensor you can see as I'm moving it the sensor left to right and pulling it I can pretty well see where it sits and where that line is sitting.
And that's pretty much it. You can also see the um, the uh, treated value of where the sensor is here as you move it across. So you saw the one move slowly across from side to side as I move the sensor across right from side. So now we're calibrated.